Welcome YouTubers, this is TK again. I'm gonna be showing a brand new custom campaign. It's called Chronicles of Fan Fleet, created by P on Me to Win. And I'm not joking by the way, that's apparently the map maker's name unfortunately. But anyway, this campaign consists of seven player maps. Um not really sure what's what it's about, but let's get started here. The first map, Gathering of Rebels. Tired of the communist winners regime, Frank Van Fleet gathers rebels to fight. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, it could be a German word, I don't know. But anyway, let's get this started here, folks. Troops, reckoning is at hand. We have been oppressed by the great nation of winners for far too long, and now we must strike. We will target the small bases near Apocalypse Ridge, and then move on to bigger things once we have the resources we need. Let's show those bastards who's boss. I, I think I can help. I am willing to sacrifice myself for the great cause. Me and my friends have some stolen explosives, if needed. Great, let's move on. We'll need all the help we can get, so we should rally any others willing to join our cause. Find the other rebels. Destroy the enemy's bases. Optional, bring demolition experts to buildings to blow them up. Like, like Goblin Tickies in Warcraft 3. Reporting for duty. Okay. Yes, sir. I read you. Uh, so this right. is the demolition expert, just one, huh? So this, this guy is the civilian guy. I read you. The, yeah. Um, let's see what's going on here. We got some not very optimal base layout here. We got some entrance there. We got like a lot of entrances. Let's check the objectives here. It's the same thing. Uh, so basically, we're playing as rebels. It looks like. It looks like. And I don't know why, because I guess um, these winners. Uh, occupational forces are kind of like the Terran Confederates, Not and we're like the the colonists, or AKA or the Terran Dominion, or not Dominion, the Sons of Korra, rather, you know, who turn against the Confederates' uh, oppressive rule, and eventually they become oppressive, AKA they become the Terran Dominion. So I guess we're more like Rainers Raiders in a way, or. I want to say the Marsara colonists, maybe. I, I, I don't even know, guys. I'm just talking out of my ass. But I am excited to play this. I don't know if this is supposed to be played on the original StarCraft or Brood War. I, I don't know, because the extension was .scf. So. And speaking of that, I should probably fix one of my maps that has that. I want to make sure it's .xcx so people don't get confused. And when I say one of my maps, I mean uh, prominence. That's currently being tested by a Russian YouTuber who used to uh, showcase my custom campaigns. Ke Kevin Cooper's story, Balkhorn's Bad Times. Now, I don't know about Balkhorn's Bad Times, but uh, Impending Doom, I think. That was for sure. Uh, his YouTube channels uh, might be hard to find in your case, but it's still like this, I think. It's like this, I think. I, I don't know. It was like this. Kai heck. So, go check that out if you're curious about my custom campaign prominence that's currently being tested by. He's already on the 8th map. I'm actually stuck, like, I've been stuck on that, uh, one map for the longest time. Uh, no, I, I really should resume uh, continuing the project, you know. But and in the in the first place, I was expecting Prominence to be finished by like the end of last year. But you know, life happens and procrastination happens, stuff like that happens, you know. Like, and supposedly I'm not even supposed to be playing right now because. I should be prioritizing on my exam, which, you know, my boss and my uh, supervisor keep, you know, they keep um, bugging me about, and it does kind of become a bit annoying a little bit later, later on, you know, 
uh, initially I was I was like, yeah, yeah, sure, I'll take it. And then I did take it last year, one of the four exams. Like, but uh, gotta focus, man. This is why I just won against the four v four. But anyway, what was I saying? Yeah, initially it gets a bit annoying, but I mean, not only I, I want to say that in because initially it's you know I'm nonchalant about it, and as time goes on, you know, it, get, it gets a little bit annoying, and there's some sort of this pressure to looks like you can build a factory, but I don't know. We'll see. Because this map's extension was .scm, I don't know if this was made like after remastered. Cause there's this like weird thing going on with ex extension for StarCraft maps, where it, it could be classified as a hybrid map, which means .scm can actually have brutal units in there. This is after remastered. It, it wasn't like that for non-remastered, or rather. Starcraft 1.16 version, but because I don't know when when this map was made or this campaign was made, I'm not gonna build medics. Yes, and I think I probably should have four SEVs in here. Let's go. Um, looks like these guys are rescuers, so let's go over there. Uh, let's get a the time. The map's not that big. Damn, I thought they were gonna get me. They killed my friends here a while ago. I managed to blow them up. I appreciate any help I can get. Why are you safe, bro? You don't even have siege mode. That's kind of sad. Don't worry, I'll get that all fixed up soon. Got a gas expand. This is fine. This is the kind of stuff that's missing in like more recent custom campaigns. You know, in StarCraft 1. Like mineral mineral only expand oh there's a okay, I should probably build some bunkers here and there. Even here too actually. Actually I don't need that. Like, you know, like all all like expansion spots, they have minerals and investment visors. Like, it doesn't need to be always like that, but I mean. Yeah, good, good. So I always appreciate when I see like the single gas expand. Or oh, you could be creative and make me make two just being geysers expand without any minerals. Uh stuff you know, vice versa. So. Uh, where where the hell is their base? Oh wonder. Oh, you know what? I need I need an engineering base. Got the most important thing here. Okay, yeah, let's uh, move ourselves, move our units down. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's actually try to bring the demolition experts and see what happens. Man, the miss, miss chance. Okay. I can't believe I didn't build any of Build any engineering grade this fast enough. I probably should build two actually so just because I'm good with my upgrades. Wait, wait, we're about to cook up some Winnerstians. Winnerstians? Oh my gosh! Alright, let's try to salvage my tank here. I kinda wanted to use, um... What I call it? I wanted to kind of use... This demolition expert. But... Gosh, that was bad. I'm gonna treat this tank as a hero. Okay, I see white units coming here. This is exactly why I built that. 
fucker right there, you know, nice. Uh, and I wanna get weapons, mech weapons. Bring that demolition guy here. And I probably should hockey my cops at. It's just embarrassing. Oh man, that's not enough energy. I need a I need a building that can lift lift off. Uh, technically I should be building some defenses here because the enemy units can actually come over here and destroy my factories. Okay, let's go. Should have done this sooner. Okay, that was a ghost. This would be a lot easier if I had medics. Oh so, man, that is pretty cool. Does that work with any buildings or? And it, and then apparently it's arriving. Just spawns out of nowhere here. I would have made it so that it spawns near a command center, in my opinion, but that's pretty fun. Let's go check it out. It's actually, it's good. You know, a custom campaign should have some kind of triggering going on, and this is one of, one of the things that's being portrayed right here, in my opinion. So, I am actually happy to see this uh, being a thing here. Let's go check it out if it works on the on the barracks here. Yeah, it does. So it works on any buildings, it looks like. And it's free too. I would have probably made like a counter maybe. Let's go heal that up or tear it up at it. Uh let's act let's actually uh, expand there. Okay, so it looks like the rest of the enemies like Somewhere over here. Well, obviously, you should be on the top right corner because white is coming from that general area. And seeing as how I don't know why this uh, sex facility is enabled, it could be a mistake on the map maker's end, but seeing as how um, I don't need to worry about, you know, my demolition expert, you know. Because there's no like set amount of a demolition experts, you know what I mean? So I, I can actually just send him off to his death, you know what I mean? So I'll do just that. Meanwhile, I run the dude. Yeah, see, look at that. But oh, there's a tank there. That's not. That's not good. Do this. Make more tanks here. Like, I'm gonna probably need one more ga gas. So far, the, the map's alright. You know, it's, it's pretty standard here. I wanna use this engineering bay once level 1 armor is complete. Okay, let's go explore here. Let's go. Let's go. So, the rest of the map is basically just terrain works here and there. I'm gonna leave units like this. And. There, let's bring the demolition x ray again. Yeah, I like this triggering system, it makes the campaign a bit unique, in my opinion. So, I can kind of tell why um, Chris is the one who recommended this map. Uh, let's see why he recommended it. So. And he also recommended another campaign, which is called Rebel Factions. It actually has about time you guys found us, those damn Winnerstians are scouting every service. But like I was saying, yeah, there's like another campaign called Fall oh, okay, so that's why I did it. Rebel Factions. And that one consists of two, two, um, 
two maps, or not two maps, two uh, folders of maps, kind of like episodes rather. So looking forward to that one. Okay, let's swing some SUVs here. Bring some down there. Actually, go over there. Let's bring the demolition expert again. This guy is basically immortal. It actually makes our job a lot easier. Interesting base layout. Hmm. That's a very unique map layout. Let's, let's see if this guy can blow up two buildings. Probably not. Let's wait for this to explode. Nah, just one. Yeah, that makes sense. Interesting. And this, again, like this thing too, like this kind of terrain work is absolutely fine in my opinion, even though the AI is never going to use it. It just makes the map more lively, right? I mean, it's good for immersion, in my opinion. I think that's pretty much it for the map. Oh, there's another. Oh, wow, this, this too, like, guys, look at this. It's so simple, yet it's so. It's pretty good. Like, you see this um, vamp there that I just discovered with these two part events? That's another, like, it gives the player an option to attack these uh, nation of, of winners' forces. You know, instead of what I just did, you know, I, just, I kind of, you know, knocked out all their front door. But there is, like, this back door play you can do that. I feel like that's something all map makers should kind of know, you know. I mean, you don't always need to do this, but just seeing this, like, makes me feel giddy because I, I don't hardly see that anymore in a custom campaign, you know? so I think this, it, like, design-wise, this was a pretty good start, you know, so yeah, even though the map maker's name is PL Me To Win, I think he has something going here, you know, the story is getting developed, I'm interested in the story, and the map is it's a good solid start, so yeah, I'm excited to continue playing this campaign, and I hope you guys are as well. That's it for DK folks, uh, I'll try to upload uh, probably within the next few days or so, so stick around, DK signing off folks. Maybe. <laughs>